guest experience is fundamental in customer loyalty. Uh, in fact, in the hotel business, it really is the business of the hotel company. It's delivering on its promises. Now, of course, you have to ask, what is loyalty? Uh, in Mandarin Oriental, we tend to take a somewhat differing view of traditional loyalty in hotels. Most loyalty in hotels, in airlines, in the travel business in general today is more of a points and prizes system. You, you patronize the hotel of your choice, you, you present yourself with a plastic card, you get points and you accumulate, possibly you can redeem for prizes, uh, typically more, more room nights. Uh, we don't think that that is a, a system that really um, speaks to luxury. It doesn't work well in a luxurious context and indeed if you look at any luxury product you don't find that kind of so-called loyalty system. What you do find though in the luxury world are informed, very passionate guests, very informed, passionate customers about informed about the products that they're buying and passionate about them. And so too, in a luxury hotel experience, in Mandarin Oriental guests, we have very informed, very passionate guests who are very enthusiastic, very committed to our product, and come back again and again and again. And they only do that because each and every time we meet or hopefully exceed their expectations and fulfill our guest service promise. What are some of the things, I think if you're going to answer a question about what is future guest service improvement, you have to sit back and say, well, what do I like or dislike as a guest in hotels? Because if you always look at a hotel through the eyes of a guest, you won't go far wrong. Now, let's just take some of the common things that you, um, you, you may like or dislike. Personally, I dislike. Um, checking in. What happens with the check-in? You've got to go and stand at a counter, right? You, hopefully, you don't stand in line, but sometimes you unfortunately have to. Checking out, you've got to go back to a counter. Why do you do that? You do that because the systems, do this only because the systems that are required to process that transaction either give you a room key, allocate you a room, check you into the hotel, and to financially process the transaction are bound to that one place in the hotel. Well, imagine a time and a world when that, that isn't the case. When those systems, two or three or four cooperating systems, are mobile. That world is actually here today. And I think you will find hotels starting to implement that technology fairly rapidly. We've all seen um, the, the provision or the, the appearance in the market of pad devices today. Wi-Fi equipped pad devices. Um, there's one from, from obviously the well-known uh, manufacturer, but there will be many. By the end of this year and into the next year, there will be many. I would predict that those pad devices will revolutionize, will completely reshape the way that the check-in, check-out experience is done in the majority of hotels over the coming years. Because it is unnatural for you to have to go and stand in one place. Right? It doesn't contribute to the guest service experience. What you want to do is come into a hotel, be greeted by somebody, and they, 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 they show you to your room, particularly in a luxury hotel business, in a luxury context, because waiting in line is obviously not luxurious. Checking out, you want to get out, you want to go, you want to get into the cab, into the limousine, get to the airport as quick as you can. Why not have somebody with a pad process your transaction as quick as possible and get you on your way? That's really what you want. So um, from, a, from a fundamental guest service point of view, they're two issues that I think we can do better in the hotel industry and we will through the provision of Wi-Fi equipped devices, but there are others. Um, that point of sale, you know that time when somebody wanders off with your credit card right? and you think, am I ever going to see my credit card again? Right? They wander off and they disappear into a back room. Why? Because that, that credit card processing capability is fixed to a wall, fixed to a location. It doesn't have to be can be mobile. Wouldn't it be better if it was done in front of you? But without the very luxuriously suited, Armani suited um, service staff looking like they were a Hertz rent-a-car representative with, a, with things dangling and battery packed. Do it in a very elegant, simple way. 
and I think again pads and that type of mobile technology will will completely change the way that we process financial trans- transactions in our in our hotels in our restaurants over the coming years.